attacking? I don't know. Welcome back everybody, finally getting another video done. Uh, the real world job is getting in the way, but there's always a bit of time for Gundam. So we're building Gundam Heavy Arms from the original Gundam Wing series. And he's going to be a buddy for Wing Zero over here. Uh, we're going to do lots of customization here because I'm not too keen on this orange. I don't know why, I just don't like it. So we're going to customize loads, do some pre-shading, um, scribing, we'll give that another go. And then we'll work on a color scheme. But keeping it short, please do like and subscribe. Help me keep going, keep me motivated. And uh, yeah, thanks very much. Let's crack on. Zero, zero, 001. Pilot's name? Troa. For the record. So for anyone watching, this has been a couple of seconds. For me, it's actually been a couple of months. Uh, I've been working way too much and not enough gunpla. So here we are. I have been going a little bit scribing crazy. Uh, probably too much, a bit too rough, but this is the first proper load of scribing I've done. So I thought I'd just go for it. Scribe as much as I can. And really just see what happens. It's all about practice. Uh, I do like these leg pieces, so that's probably the best that I've done so far. Just getting the shape on there, that was not very good. And this side and the front's good. A little bit on the arms, not too much else. Um, feet as well, these are the uh, front of the legs. So not too bad there, a fair bit different. But I also had an idea. What's the first thing you think of when you see the cannon? It is of course this. The A10 Thunderbolt Hog. Absolute classic. And then I realised I had a few decals bought of eBay, just a huge set of them, and we have the front end and the eyes, uh, lots of US 
uh, emblem stickers and these are all water slides so we are going to try and build heavy arms like an A10 Thunderbolt okay we are back we have been very busy but we've finally pushed ahead and we are getting heavy arms done so we did a uh, priming and some a gray mixture just to get the right level of gray for aircraft uh, lots of panel lining with the uh, Tamiya and as you can see some of it is okay some of it is not very good but overall not really too bad uh, I do particularly like the front cannon here nice bit of detail there and I've also been a bit distracted with these guys so uh, I've been learning a few new techniques for painting at least but yeah Warhammer has uh, started off as well this one again a little bit crazy on the weathering and this is one that my son did so we need to get some decals on the cannon and basically compare it to some photos get it matched up to the A10 as best as possible I kept the green stickers on the head because they look pretty good with the uh, green metallic and inside here we've got the red tips on the missiles so I think all the little red touches look good so we're going to do some finishing touches uh, let me put a bit of colour on and the decals and yeah I reckon it'll be looking pretty good okay I didn't really think this through <clears throat> but this is the only place it can go so we're gonna have to just wing it and see how this goes we use lots of this decal fix get it all over as you can see it's already splitting a little bit I don't know how old these things are right this time got to be this time I did do some damage on the side here so I will damage the decal as well once it's all dry and break it okay so stay in there it's not moving anywhere else there we are i'll let that dry and yeah, there's bits falling off better glue that back on time for the eyes and then we can get this thing finished here we are deep breath i think we're done lots and lots of decals used as many as i can and they really do bring it to life the problem I had is this one doesn't have a hinge so we just have to live with that and here's the main part for the A10 I think that looks pretty cool mixed in with the damage so let's put it together First, I'm going to put the uh, legs on the right around. Now he's all together. I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, a lot of it has taken a while, I've done it in um, various different stages but considering the uh, the way it's all broken up and um, the amount of time and everything it's yeah it's all right I like it the cannon has to go on uh, where the left hand is so let's pop that off quickly 
it in there. And there we are. Let me know what you think. But uh, yeah, pretty pleased. Just do some finishing touches here and there. A little spray of a satin and uh, we'll do some photos. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, yeah, next up is the Ale Strike Gundam and uh, real grade. And I've got some decals as well, some proper warp slides for that one. Thanks very much. See you next time.